KSF and we're back. And we copped the cool gray Jordan 4s today. Um, got a little bit of a rant about that. Was a little bit salty and thought I was gonna miss out, but we managed to get our hands on up here and very, very happy with that. But before we get going on that, hey, make sure you jump down and hit that subscribe button for me. Turn it from red to gray to match the cool grays and then hit that bell and select all notifications so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We are 4,000, sorry, 400 subscribers strong. We'd love to be 4,000 subscribers strong. So make sure you hook us up by subscribing and become part of that KSF team. Now, here's my little rant. I work nine to five. In the warehouse I work in, we have a strict no phone policy, so I can't even cop online sometimes. And basically they drop these on a Thursday weekday here in Melbourne, Australia. And it happens a lot to me. I miss out on releases. Obviously I can't line up four days. Um, I can't get flexible work hours. I'm expected to be at my work every day on time and if I take a day off to score sneakers then I won't have a job is basically that so you know Nike even Adidas sneaker companies sneaker retail in Australia what are you doing I mean like can somebody please explain this is the companies driving these weekday drops it's just really makes it hard to cop sneakers, but we got the box. We got it in the Foot Locker bag. We managed to cop. I found a Foot Locker that still had pairs, so let's get into it. Bam, there is our box label. Once it focuses, there you go. You've got the premium Jordan box with the Jumpman, with the flight, We've got a bit of cement detailing. You got the little plastic ring hole to give it that sort of premium feel. I don't know, let the air out, let it breathe, and oh, smell great. They smell great and they look absolutely freaking amazing. Really, really nice pair of shoes. A little bit of criticism, we'll get the critique out of the way. What the hell is this, Nike? Trash plastic bags. So it would have been nice if they could have put, you know, just some premium paper in there. It would have been nice. But there is what it is. Um, now, the it's they're nice and buttery feeling, and they look fantastic. However. This is not quite as good a quality as the cool grey tins I have. This new buck is super buttery. I believe it's new buck. If it's not, correct me down in the comments. Let me know. Drop some knowledge bombs down in the comments for us. But yeah, this has got a really nice motion in the ocean and really super, super buttery. Um, these, not quite so much, but it is decent. As you can see a slight, slight motion in the ocean, which we always like on this way. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, and we have the usual painting quality issue. Looks like it's painted on with a wire brush, but this is not as bad as some of the past releases like the Katrinas. So all in all, um, the quality on this shoe is absolutely on point. My other criticism is it's a $270 AUD shoe. Where's our extra laces? One set of gray laces. What if I want some black laces? What if I want to change it up? Put a different color in there. It could at least have option of at least black laces. Nike would have been nice, but yeah, apart from that, basically, I think they've got a slight little glue stain on there and there's a slight little glue mark on some of the sole but nothing, nothing that's really going to really annoy me about it. Just 
well. Just awesome. One really, really cool detail I like, if you look at the pull tab, still that super smooth suede there. So that's really, really nice touch instead of a rubber pull tab, which I really, really like. And also that's repeated on our little um, lace arms there. So as you can see there, rest of it's pretty much stock standard. We've got the hits of yellow and the yellow jump man there. Hit a yellow inside the air unit. Um, I'm not sure if the OG pair had that, but we've got it here. Also the flight is in yellow. You can see you've got a jump man on the front as usual. We've got a yellow Air Jordan tag, which I'm not sure again if the OG pair had that, but yeah, it is what it is. And there we go. Oh, get these laces out of the way. We have the white Jumpman on the inner sole there. And all in all, this is a dope, dope shoe. And, and all in all, I'm really happy with the quality lining yeah not so much um yeah you have high expectations at a 270 dollar aud shoe but would i cop them yeah hell yeah and i did so yeah still a dope dope shoe i'll give you a bit of a close-up on the camera hopefully you copped your pair let us know down in the comments did you cop a pair do you like fours what's your favorite jordan whatever you want down in the comments and i'm going to chuck these on foot for you guys and you can have a look